Hi, now don't tell anyone, but I'm here with my personal favourite, Luke Donald, whose career, I like to think, began about 20 years ago when you won the Sunningdale Horsums with my brother. You've come a long way since then. That is true. We had a good, uh, good run at it uh, a few years ago with, um, with Mikey. So, yeah, it's been a fun run. Uh, I've always been enjoyed playing out here on tour and uh, fortunately had a, had a pretty successful career so far. Now, I don't like to bring it up, but it hasn't been the best of seasons for you, missing the first Ryder Cup for 10 years. Um, and, of course, you've got the record of 10.5 points from impossible 15. That must have been quite hard for you to swallow. Yeah, very disappointing, but I, I didn't have my best season, as you said. I didn't play very well. I, I tried to go through a swing coach uh, change, try to change some stuff to see if it would make some improvements in some of my weaknesses. didn't really pay off, but I uh, certainly didn't regret trying it. And i um, back with my former coach, uh, Pat Goss, now, and uh, things are going great. So hopefully a better 2015. Now, it must be nice for you to come back to Jamira Gulf Estates, where you became the first man to achieve the remarkable feat of topping the money lists on both sides of the Atlantic. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, this has, a, has always been a special place for me. I was number one coming here, I won the US money list. I came here having a uh, fight off Rory and uh, fortunately did it. And, um, you know, I've, I've played very well here. The four or five events we've had at, at this course, um, you know, I don't think I've finished outside the top ten. So it's been a very kind tournament to me. Hopefully more of the same this week and uh, hopefully a stepping stone for, for what's going to hopefully be a better 2015. Good, we hope so. Um, what's been the best shot you've ever made? Best shot? Oh, that's a tough one. Um... One of my most memorable probably would have been in a Ryder Cup just because of the pressure. I mean, it's not even some one that you would totally remember, but it was in 2012 at, at Medina, uh, playing the 17th hole with Sergio and um, Tiger just hit it pretty close and I, I hit it inside him and we halved the hole in birdie and we ended up winning the match. You made the turnaround on the Saturday afternoon, but Ian Poulter gets all the credit for it. <laughs> he, he did some pretty uh, miraculous stuff as well. I mean, burning the last five holes and winning that point was vital. But yeah, the point uh, that Sergio and I had was was uh, equally as important. Um, obviously, the heroics that uh, that Poults did was was pretty remarkable. But uh, you know, it's great to be a part of that team, and that's why it was frustrating to miss out uh, this year. Yeah. Um, and what's the best shot you've ever seen? Best shot I've ever seen, God. It might have been, uh, it must be something, you know, obviously grew up in the, playing uh, under the Tiger era. Um, I remember Tiger's bunker shot at uh, Canadian Open, out of the bunker to a pin and tucked over on the right, you know, it was 200 yards, six iron, and he hit it, hit it right over the pin uh, to about 15 feet. I mean, I don't know, Tiger's made so many miraculous shots, but that one suddenly, for some reason, came straight to my mind. Hi, I'm Luke Donald, and you're watching AGTV.